Hi you guys, hi you guys. Welcome back, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Dana Ray here and I am back today with a word from the Lord from for you guys. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys uh, for being here. Thank you for your comments. Thank you guys for checking on me. I know some of you was like, where are you at with the word? Where are you at with the word? Um, but I'm here now. I'm gonna tell you like the truth. I've been struggling um, with the, the desire to want to do this. Um, because honestly, the persecution has gotten to me and, um, but I have to move forward and I have to keep going. I have to keep going. I'm actually even like, I'm kind of nervous right now because I just feel like people be picking apart everything that I say. And it's not, it's just not easy. It's not easy. So you guys just give me grace. Keep me in your prayers. If you know the Lord, if you're praying something positive, if you're not keep my name out your mouth. <laughs> um, but we hear today's word is titled be our guest your spouse's open heart surgery is complete and rest easy um rest easy so be our guest has come um the lord has been talking about, to me about preparing for guests and all of these things for a long time now probably about four or five months now he's been talking to me about preparing for guests so of course i knew that the word was for me and i know what it means for me um but because the other day i was in ross and he had me see a pillow that had be our guest written on it he's he's continued to remind me of the song be our guest in the disney movie beauty and the beast um, i'm going to read those lyrics and let you know what the lord is trying to say through that song um but i know now that he wants me to share um some of this revelation with you guys um so be our guest let's talk about the first part be our guest and the scripture that goes along with this portion is philemon 1 and 22 it says and one thing more prepare a guest room for me because i hope to be restored to you in answer to your prayers um i've seen the the quote prep for overnight guests guests ready and like I said, again, be our guest. A guest is a person who is staying with you in your home. Um, the, this is confirmation for somebody um, that the Lord has been telling you to prepare. Prepare for to either be the guest of someone or prepare for a guest to come into your home. Meaning make room for this person. You know who it is. I don't know who it is. I know who God is talking about when he's talking to me. A lot of you guys, a lot of you ladies, it is your spouse. Um, and you men too, it's your spouse that you need to be preparing your home for. How would you want your home to be if a guest were coming in, if someone were coming in that you didn't know yet, that doesn't know how you live, you wanna prov provide a space for them that is welcoming, that is peaceful, that is clean, that has everything they need. God has told a lot of you guys that you need to buy some things to be prepared for this person that is going to be coming into your home. On the other side of that, um, a lot of you guys need to prepare to be guests um of someone this i think the lord is reminding me right now of the scripture ruth that he had me and ruth that he had me read this morning um let's see if i can find it did i write it down ruth 1 and 10 i don't think i wrote it but let me find it right now because my bible is right here ruth 1 and 10 and it's actually the part where ruth was telling um, no, Naomi was telling Ruth and, her, and the other sister-in-law to go back to, um, to not go with her, basically to go away. Why can't I find the scripture? Well, we got something for that. Ruth 1 and 10. Let's go back a little bit now. All right, so let's go, let's go here. Chapter nine. Okay, so let's start with chapter eight. Then Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, 
Go back, each of you, to your mother's home. May the Lord show you kindness as you have shown kindness to your dead husbands and to me. May the Lord grant each of you grant that each of you will find rest in the home of another husband. Then she kissed them goodbye and wept aloud and said to her, we will go back with you with your people. But Naomi said, return home, my daughters. Why would you come with me? Am I going to have any more sons who could become your husbands? Basically, um, Naomi is like, I don't have anything else for you ladies. Go back to your native lands. And they're like, no, take us with you. We want to be your guests. We want to go into your land. Now we know that Ruth is the only one who actually went with Naomi. She was a guest in Naomi's land and ended up meeting her husband there. Some of you guys need to prepare to be a guest. You need to have yourself, your life, your mind, your body, your everything in order to be a guest, whether this is an event, whether you are moving into a a new space with this person, a space that may be familiar with the person, but unfamiliar to you, you are need to be preparing to be a guest. Others need to prepare for guests to come to you. Take whichever part for you is for you to the Lord and let him confirm what that means to you. Now, this, the lyrics from the song from the movie Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is very prophetic, y'all. If God has not put you on that movie yet, you need to watch it because it's going to help you in preparation, a lot of you women, for the husbands that he is sending us in this season. Um, a lot of them feel and act like the beast. Like, and it's, and it's because of insecurity. It's because of things that are inside of them. Okay. And it's going to take you to bring out that prince, to bring out that king that is inside of him because he sees himself as unworthy, as, as bad, as the beast. You see, you will be the person to bring out the prince inside of your husband. Okay. So you need to, you need to watch that movie because it's going to put you on game. Okay. So the, the song the lyrics of the song says, be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test, tie your napkin around your neck and we will provide the rest. God is saying to many of you, be his guest. He is about to give you some service and some treatment that you are not used to. You are about to be served because you have served him. You have served the people that he has told you to serve. You have been praying. You have been fasting. You have been doing everything that God has told you to do. And now he says, I am about to serve you. I am about to send people who will be able to serve you. Get ready, pull your seat up to the table and kick your heels up. Okay. Another part, it says, you're alone and you're scared, but the banquet's all prepared. A lot of you guys have been alone. I'm about to cry and I do not know why. A lot of you guys have been alone for a very, very long time. You have been in a season where God brought people into your life and then he snatched you away from them and you find yourself in a season of isolation again. And you're wondering when ever am I not going to be alone? When am I ever going to be able to rest easy? When am I ever going to be able to trust God, somebody? Like, and when am I ever going to have a friend? When am I ever going to have my person that I can talk to about you, talk to about the dreams that you give me that will understand? When am I going to be able to not be alone and no longer be afraid? And God is saying the time is now. He is about to serve you those divine connections. He knows that you're alone. He knows that some of you are afraid because the territory that you're walking in is unfamiliar. It's okay. He's with you and he is ready, getting ready to serve you everything that you have worked for. And no, the things that we have done have not been for some type of reward, but there is a reward for your obedience. God is saying, be his guest. Yes. But for now, let's see it up. So you shout enough, I'm not saying to you sleep. Please be our guest. So it's going to be never ending. 
what God is, the season that a lot of us are walking into right now, the things, the love that God is about to pour on us through people, through the things that he's going to bless us with is going to be never ending. You have done the work. You have done the work. All right. Be our guest. Prepare for guests. Prepare to be a guest. And God is saying, get ready to be treated like his guest. Okay. Okay. That's that part. The second part is your spouse's open heart surgery is complete. Your spouse's open heart surgery is complete. This is from a vision that I had. Um, when did I have this? Maybe um, November, around the end of October, maybe beginning of November. Okay. And in this vision, it says, um, a girl rolled out a black leather mat. A, I can't read my own hand right y'all. A girl rolled out a black leather mat imprinted Merry Christmas in capital letters on it. Then the next part of the vision is Diani Neves, which I, I mentioned her before. She's a sister in Christ, was showing me someone who just had open heart surgery. She was like showing me their medical record. Let me read that again. A girl pulled out a black leather mat and printed Merry Christmas in capital letters. Then Diane Neves was showing me someone who had just had open heart surgery and she was showing me their medical record as if the heart surgery had been done. Okay. The scripture for these, for this vision, God is saying from the vision, the men, your spouse, the women that you have been waiting for have had open heart surgery. He has given them open heart surgery. He has turned their hearts from hearts of stone to hearts of flesh. They are now in recovery. The surgery went well, all right? Here are the scriptures or portions of the scriptures that confirm that the open heart surgery is complete and it has been successful, all right? Nehemiah 9 and 8. You found his heart faithful to you and made a covenant with him to give to his descendants the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Jebusites, and Girgashites. You have kept your promise because you are righteous. The Lord has looked into the heart of your spouse and found their heart faithful. Found their heart righteous. Only God knows the heart of a person. Only he can let you know if that person has been cleaned up or not. He has looked at the heart of your spouse and found their hearts faithful. Next verse. Oh, not that one quite yet. Oh, well, yeah, maybe so. Proverbs 31 and 11. The heart of her husband that safely trust in her so he so that he shall have no need of spoil your spouse your husband cannot be ready for you if their heart has not been cleaned and able to trust you as we have said in previous videos they have been broken they have been torn apart their hearts have been stomped on and trampled on so unless the lord did open heart surgery they will not be able to receive your love they will not be able to love you or trust you in the way that you deserve to be loved and trusted the lord is saying your husband's heart is ready to safely trust yours because the surgery is complete, okay? Next thing that God is saying about this situation is that when they come, willingly receive them, okay? John 6 and 21, then they willingly received him into the ship and immediately the ship was at the land where they went. When your person comes into your life, and this is to those who know that God has said it's happening suddenly, it's happening quickly. When they come, the turnaround is going to be quick. The change in their heart is going to happen seemingly overnight. God says, receive them willingly, receive them openly, receive them with love, just like the father of the prodigal son, receive them with open arms, willingly. 
And as soon as you receive them, you guys are going to take off to wherever the Lord has called you guys to go. Immediately, willingly receive them and immediately the ship was at the land where they were going. What else? Acts 20 and 14. It says, and when he met us at Asos, we took him aboard and went into Medellin. The guests are coming. Take them in and go. Okay? There is no time for, <laughs> I'm not sure. No. we don't. You do not have time for that. Time is is life, baby. You better be ready to go immediately. Take the person in and go. All right? I think that's it for that part. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, and what is the last part of the word? It was, oh, the last part is rest easy. Rest easy. All right. The Lord had me see rest a lot of times and then rest easy a couple times. So I decided to look it up. Rest easy means to stop worrying about something. Relax and stop worrying. To be untroubled by worries. God is saying, you have done the work. It seems like you shouldn't be resting right now because everyone else is not resting. And it seems weird to be resting because you're so used to doing something. You're so used to having to put your hands to something to prepare. But those of you guys who have been obedient to what God has been telling you this entire year, this entire two years, four years, five years, God says there's nothing else for you to do. Stop worrying about when, stop worrying about how, trust that what he said is coming to pass and it is happening now. Rest easy. Rest easy. It's not a coincidence that in that vision, the girl wrote out a mat that said, Merry Christmas. There are some gifts coming and I know I know how hard it is to still believe. I know how hard it is to still believe right now. But don't stop believing. Every time you throw the promise back and God throws it right back at you, it means that he doesn't want you to stop believing. Our timing is not his timing. And I know every time you think it's what he said, and then it's like, dang, the date has passed again. God is trying to surprise you. Don't stop believing. And just because other people are experiencing judgment right now that can look like unhappiness, depression, anxiety, worry, just sadness overall, like that is their judgment. Do not get that confused and allow that to steal your joy. God has made you a promise and you have done the work and your reward is here. Keep believing. Summarizing the word, be our guest, prepare for your guests, prepare to be a guest, and get ready to receive the guest treatment that God has for you. Your spouse's open heart surgery is complete. God has done the work. Just because you weren't in the operating room doesn't mean that the surgery wasn't done. You have to not look at things with your physical eyes. Have your ears open to what God is saying. He will let you know what is happening. He will make sure that you don't stop believing. Believe what he is showing you. Rest easy. You have 
poured into other people. You have served other people. You have given your, your time, your work, your gifts, your encouragement. You have given for years and years and years. And God says, rest. You don't have to keep, you don't have to do that. He does not call us to be tired and exhausted because we just continue to pour and pour and pour and pour and nobody is pouring into us. I don't care how many people waiting for me to come get a to do a video. God told me to rest easy. So I'm going to come when I have the capacity to come. You need to be the same. And it's hard because you don't want to disappoint people. But you can't. God is going to continually be putting more and more in your plate. And you have to balance. You can't. You can't give everything you have and not be giving anything to yourself and not allow God to pour into you. He's telling you to rest easy for a reason. Listen to him. Stop worrying about how he's going to do it. Live your life and enjoy every day, every moment, because these times are coming to an end. This you just waking up and worrying about yourself and not having nobody else in your house are this coming to an end. Prepare and rest easy. I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next word, the next video. If I don't see you guys before, um, again, before Christmas, Merry Christmas to everybody. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy your family. If you are alone, enjoy God. Watch you a movie. Do not sink into the, the spirit of depression and suicide and foolishness that is going on out in this world. Do not allow the enemy to attack you. You better cut off that social media and find your joy in a dis good old Disney Beauty and the Beast movie and get yourself some excitement and, and, and be ready and prepare for God's promises. I love y'all and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.